Hey guys, it's your girl Tamika from LJ's Kitchen. I just wanted to show you how I make my crispy, wet battered fried chicken. I don't have gloves on today, but guys, if you're going to be upset about that, you might not want to watch this video. I am an advocate for washing hands after uh, dealing with uh, food or any kind of poultry, especially. So I am going to use my hands because it's my kitchen and I can. Um, we are going to have three pounds of the seasoned chicken wings and drumsticks, um, some water, some cornstarch, and some flour. So I've already mixed my cornstarch into my flour. And guys, this is so easy and simple. Um, my chicken is seasoned with um, whatever seasons you use for your, your fried chicken. I don't want to complicate this at all and um, make it about my seasonings because you may have a way that you season your fried chicken. So we are just going to sprinkle flour over our chicken in a bowl, just like so. Okay. And then at this point, we're just going to add some water. Just a little bit at a time. Just a little bit at a time. And we are going to mix this around just like so until this consistency becomes like a pancake batter. I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all mixed up. Okay, so it's all mixed up now and it should look like this. And we are going to take these pieces you want every piece coated like this. We want to take these pieces and we're going to put them in our deep fryer. And I just wanted to show you how the consistency looks like. I hope this is a, a good way of showing you. If this gross you out because I have chicken, um, you know, I'm using my hands, guys. Use your hands to cook. We didn't always have utensils, but I wash my hands and I wash, I scrub my hands actually, and I wash underneath my nails too. Uh, so you want every piece to look like this. And then we're going to, I'm going to wash my hands up and we're going to get to frying it and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I started frying some chicken up. I want to show you just how I usually take my chicken, my um, drumsticks, and I like it to swim a little before I drop it. When I use, I use this technique when I have like a wet batter, so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the fryer. Then I drop it. Okay, I like to do these in really small batches, and, and don't use really large pieces of chicken when you do this. A small um, smaller pieces of chicken work better with this and if you have like large breasts cut them in half and fry them up like that so here again I'm going to take a drumstick I usually like to um, cook drumsticks with drumsticks and uh, wings with wings so since we only have a few here I'm going to let this swim a little bit again I'm just going to cook these all together. Okay, so I'm going to put about four or five in, and then we're going to start our next, next batch. One thing I would like to mention is that I have um, my fryer on 325 instead of 375, what I would normally fry chicken at. And um, I like to do that for this technique only because it allows um, the chicken to cook thoroughly all the way through without the wet batter um, getting too dark and brown. So um, this has just been going for about a good three minutes and we probably have about a good um, eight minutes to go. So I wanna fry it until it is completely done. Just let you look at how it looks so far after three minutes. Okay, and this is on 325 and I'm using peanut oil. Okay, so this first batch is done. I had three pounds, so I'm going to cook about a pound in each batch. 
This is done. We just want to let it drain for a second. And it's going to be super crispy on the outside and nice and tender and juicy on the inside. My thero thermometer read uh, 168 degrees. So this chicken is done. It doesn't have to go that long. About 165 is, is sufficient for uh, poultry. But that looks good, right? Now we're going to do our next batch. Okay, so nice clean hands again. We want to get our next batch going. And again, make sure you allow it to swim, swim, swim before you let it down. I don't have to show you this step too many times. I just wanted to show you how I do the wings. Okay. Let's just do one more just so I can show you. In this batch, I'll probably do about five wings. Um, this is halal chicken. And my halal, the place I go to get my halal chicken is usually, um, it's usually uh, pretty small pieces of chicken. So you, they, I never like big pieces of chicken. If you like big pieces, then, you know, it's a preference, but I typically like a smaller chicken wing, chicken parts rather. And actually these are pretty large for the, um, the place that I go. These are pretty large because they usually are a lot smaller. Put one more in. I didn't let that one swim. But I'm going to shake the basket after I clean my hands again. So um, I'll show you what they all look like when they're done. Let's see, these wings are almost done. Starting to float to the top. So you can see how they look. We let it go for a little while longer. And we are going to plate this up. Okay, guys, so there you have it. This is my wet, um, how could I say it? My, my wet batter uh, fried chicken. It looks good. It always tastes good. It holds up for dinner parties really, really well. So if you have it for Thanksgiving or anything, um, it always holds up well. Uh, this, of course, this is my plate. I always pair mine with some vegetables, no starch. Even though I like starch, it doesn't like me. So, um, you know, when you're trying to eat healthier, watch your weight. Um, even if you're eating something bad like fried chicken, make sure you pair it with um, some uh, good vegetables. Also, um, or if you uh, have children, you can always pair it with some french fries, some nice, crispy, crunchy french fries. So there you have it. I have a little dipping sauce, but I just wanted to show you my wet batter fried chicken. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will say bye for now. Hey guys, it's your girl Tamika from LJ's Kitchen. I hope you like my uh, tutorial on how to make a wet batter fried chicken. And I'm going to taste a piece. I am going to actually do a live video soon. I just have a little bit of homemade barbecue sauce that's been in my family for years. But I'm going to do a, a tutorial on um, thank for Thanksgiving. A lot of times my friends ask me, they say, um, oh my gosh, can you help me with my Thanksgiving dinner? And they call me for last minute tips on Thanksgiving. But this Thanksgiving, I'm going to be super busy and I'm not going to be able to answer a lot of questions. So I want you guys to gather all your questions together so that I can help you with your Thanksgiving meal. Okay. I'll let you know when that's going to be. I want to taste Mmm, nice and crunchy on the outside and super tender on the inside. This really holds up well for any kind of dinner party that you are doing. This is delicious. I hope that this video helped you and any of my tips help you for your Thanksgiving meal. And let me know what it is that, excuse me for chewing with my mouth open, but let me know what it is 
um, that you also want to see in a video um, in the comment section. But bye for now.